Hi, I'm Mark Milligan from Springsoft. As a public EDA company since 1999, Springsoft has delivered strong business results by providing tools that are based on open standards and interoperable flows. With a commitment to excellence in customer service and by making a real investment in bringing innovative technologies to specific, critical pain points in the design process. Recently, we introduced a new generation of our Verdi Debug platform that brings breakthrough productivity to tens of thousands of engineers worldwide. Now, we're excited to reach another milestone with the delivery of our third generation Laker custom design platform, Laker 3. Over the next few minutes, we'll explore this new platform and demonstrate why Laker 3 is the best choice for custom design at 28 nanometer and below. Laker is already the most widely used and broadly supported interoperable custom design solution. Two of the top five fabless semiconductor companies have standardized on Laker, and customers worldwide have completed tapeouts at all leading merchant foundries. Interoperability is a core principle for us at Springsoft and a mainstay of Laker solutions. Our customers can select the best tools to get the job done, whether the entire flow uses only Springsoft products or mixes other vendors' tools into the flow. It's up to you. Let me give you specific examples. First, Laker natively utilizes the open industry standard for interoperable process design kits. This is important because it means that you're not locked in to one vendor. Second, we've taken advantage of the open access runtime model and worked with Mentor Graphics to integrate Calibre real-time with Laker. This gives you an on-the-fly, sign-off quality design role checking within the Laker custom design flow. You can't do that with a closed environment. Now let's dive into what's new with Laker 3. The Laker 3 platform has a rewritten, interactive, and modernized software infrastructure that increases user productivity, speeds tool performance, and introduces innovative new automation capabilities that are tuned for 28 and 20 nanometer custom design flows. It features an updated graphical user interface with modern conventions, such as window tabbing, dockable windows, and QT-based look and feel. We've optimized the working space for more productive and personalized user experience. Design entry, custom layout, custom digital place and route, and analog prototyping tools now share the same binary executable, creating a unified front-to-back flow that enables passing of design intent between the tools. The new performance-driven infrastructure takes advantage of the latest microprocessor technology and includes pervasive multi-threading, new ultra-fast drawing capabilities, and up to 10x gains in file operation speed compared to the open access reference implementation. And we built an all-new common DRC engine used by Laker functions such as placement and routing to comprehend 20 nanometer requirements such as double patterning. But this isn't only about the greatly improved performance and productivity of the new Laker 3 platform. When doing custom design at 28 nanometer and below, the impact of layout parasitics and other layout dependent effects can be catastrophic, unless you've considered them early during the design. So we've developed a new analog prototyping product with really innovative automation technology to speed a constraint-driven layout process. To explain this new product, let me introduce Dave Reed. Dave has more than 20 years experience in the analog area. Thanks, Mark. Laker analog prototyping automates the placement of analog devices. This improves layout productivity and provides designers with fast feedback of layout dependent effects. Other tools require circuit designers to create an elaborate set of constraints to drive placement. This approach shifts effort from layout designers to circuit design engineers and does not improve productivity as much as users expect. Laker analog prototyping is different. It has built-in understanding of analog layout requirements, so it can generate placement constraints automatically. For example, Laker identifies devices that have symmetrical current flows and forms them into symmetry groups. Laker also recognizes common sub-circuit types, for example, differential pairs, current mirrors, voltage references, etc., and automatically forms them into matching device patterns. If you want to modify the constraints that Laker creates, we've made it easy for you. You can view the placement and routing constraints with Laker's hierarchical constraint browser and edit them as needed. Laker makes it simple to handle matching devices. You can select a matching pattern from the built-in pattern library, or you can create your own using Laker's graphical pattern editor. You can save your new pattern to the pattern library for future use. 
Layout patterns can include routing as well as placement. It is easy to use a pattern, just select the matched devices and then apply the pattern you want. The Laker Pattern Editor also makes it easy to handle resistors and other arrayed elements. Laker Analog Prototyping automatically generates multiple placements for you to choose from. After you find a good placement, you can finish the layout with Laker. Laker Analog Prototyping includes all of Laker's award-winning schematic-driven layout features, including automatic net routing. Laker net routing also supports analog constraints, such as symmetrical net routing and shielding. Either for getting quick feedback of layout-dependent effects, or as a way to speed final analog layout creation, Laker Analog Prototyping is an essential tool for 28 nanometer and below design flows. Thanks, Dave. Laker is the clear choice for an interoperable custom design platform. We invite you to contact us to schedule an in-depth demonstration and read more at springsoft.com slash Laker3.